Hi there, this is Dan and Kat. Hi. From Tech Digest. And what we have today is the Acer Aspire One Sub Notebook. Mm. Now, there's been a lot of these about at the moment. Yes. Uh, oh gosh, we've seen um, uh, all of the E's, most recently the E901. Oh we've yeah. also seen the Gigabyte M912, yeah. the Dell Mini Inspiron. Uh, we've seen the Yin Lips. Uh, we've seen <laughs> something from Median. Um, we've seen the Aikoya Mini, um, the um, Iris Kira. We've seen MSI Wind, um, um, yeah. Ficato, um, Data Casca, oh Data God. Cask, I think. Are you just making um, them up now? No, no, okay. <laughs> HP Mini Note, that's a company you've heard of, HP. Um, we've also got Van der Leyde's Jesus. <laughs> that is made up. No, <laughs> it sounds Dutch. Anyway, and, and also the Intel Classmate. Right, and that was just this week, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Computex, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So what we, we've actually managed to get our hands on one today, mm. which is rather good. And well, we're quite impressed. Well, yes, it was only announced yesterday, and that's here right. it is in our office. And it's quite pretty. Mm. Like it's it's sort of beautiful, really. We were just taking photos of me licking it. It's that beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it's great. And look, look, look. See, it actually looks like a nice little computer, mm. rather than like some of the other ones, like the yeah. E or the EPC, which is just a bit... Well, we were saying about that, the E is great, you know, we love it, it is the original and, you know, a lot a better better than the rest, really, but it is a, a kiddie laptop, it's, it it's is, a bit yeah. plasticky and, and just something that you can imagine your kid sister using, but this, this is grown up, yeah. it is... You look like the Don on the train with us, mm. people will be jealous, absolutely jealous with you. Mm. Um, but I guess we better talk specs on this, because yeah. you want to know if it's something you actually want to mm -hmm. use. So the most exciting part about it is it's got a 1.6 gigahertz processor, and not just any one. Mm. It's got the Atom chip, yep. which means it runs nice and quiet. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't doesn't need any fans to cool it down. That's right. Yes. So yes. It'll, uh, that's right. So you it's get a longer remarkably battery. It's quiet. Well. Yeah. It is. It hasn't. It's it's still. Mm. I mean, it's slightly warm, but there hasn't been a single peep out of it, which I'm really impressed with. Mm. And um, and of course, what it was also meant the battery time actually lasts as long as they say yes. it will. So, I mean, they say three hours, and so far it hasn't run out on us. We've mm. done about two hours and a bit, and it's still yes. going really strong. And I think they also offer a second battery for seven hours. That's so right, that's right, yeah. So you can always upgrade it to that. Mm. I mean, that's actually the key about these things, about the Aspire mm. one. It's going to be sort of a range. Mm. So you can upgrade left, right, and center. I mean, this is mm. the basic one. They all come with the same processor, but you also get this one that starts with 512 megabytes of RAM, mm -hmm. but obviously that's upgradable to either 1 or 1 1.5. Yeah, 1.5, so that's pretty great. Pretty powerful yeah. machine. Um, and also, uh, they all come with, um, well, you, th these ones come with 8 gigabytes of flash memory, mm -hmm. but you can actually have an 80 gigabyte hard drive so, version. Yes, I mean, the, I think the key thing with the Acer Aspire 1 is that you can get it with the Linux OS or Windows XP. That's right. But from what I understand, they're only offering the Linux version with 8GB of solid state drive memory. That's right. That's yes. oh, Actually, that's that's what it is at the moment. They did oh, mention right. it was a possibility in the future. Interesting. But I always sort of <laughs> wonder, I mean, how much do you really want to store in these things? They're kind of very, yeah. very cool to Well, they're, anyway. they're secondary laptops, really. You're not going to be storing all of your tunes on there and all your photos. Right. But I mean, the Windows XP version, that's 80 gig. I, I mean, know, that's, I think yeah. it's just favouritism personally, but <laughs> yes. you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now the, uh, the other option you get is they obviously all, they all come with Wi-Fi, mm. but you can either get it with um, 3G, well HS, HSDPA, exactly, yes. or WiMAX. Oh, that's nice. But not yeah. both, but you do get the choice, which yeah. is kind of good, that's kind of interesting. So that's just integrated um, internet connectivity then, so you don't yep. actually need a USB dongle, you don't need to shell out. Huge bucks at Vodafone, etc. That's right, although they are coming down in price, I think we saw earlier yes. today, but anyway. <laughs> um, now, the only thing that actually disappoints me spec wise mm. is the, the little webcam there. Yeah, it's very disappointing. It's yeah. a 0.3 megapixel webcam. In comparison with the E900, um, that's got a 1.3. I believe that the MSI Wind also has a 1.3 right. as well. Um, so, you know, that could be upgraded in future, perhaps. But well, we hope so, I think. Yeah, you know. but, you know, that's not really that important on the greater scheme of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, using it. We yeah. have been using it for most of today, and mm -hmm. I've got to say, I am so impressed. I actually wrote some blog posts on this baby today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do. do you know what? I'm always good with these things, but the backspace key always gets me. It's so small. Yes. But that's on all of them. Mm. Um, how did you find the, uh, the mouse yes, track? The, little, the trackpad, yeah. it is highly sensitive, and I've got to say, I... It will take some getting used to, I guess, but I think for something this small and miniature and, 
it should maybe be the, the opposite. I'd you know I'd prefer it if it was maybe a bit slow. Yeah, I know. Maybe yeah. um, do you know what no one's actually done is put the button sort of here and here because it's not like you ever rest your palms on it yeah that's true so i think that's an option yeah. for somebody out there yeah it could be quite stylish as well yeah. um it comes with uh installed pre-installed firefox that's which right. is a big bonus very nice uh it's also got pre-installed msn messenger and um, it's got a few other applications which we like so yeah, wikipedia thing in there uh, yeah, as well which yeah, is good so to see so, pre-sign Wikipedia. Um, we also downloaded Skype, yep. which works perfectly. Um, it's also got RSS reader as well. And if we look back, you've got um, work categories. So you've got um, things like where you can enter databases and do spreadsheets and presentations, etc. Now, I mean, do keep in mind that this is the Linux version. So the Windows XP version will be just like the computer you probably have in the office or at home. Mm -hmm. um, you've got your files, so you can store some music and um, pictures, etc. on there. Um, it's also got fun. So the fun... The fun's quite fun, actually. Fun folder, yeah. Oh, yeah no, it's quite fun. <laughs> it's very fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, so it's got games and um, things like that. It's also got MS Paint. So Can anyone use that? Well, I, I use that. I really? mean, well, sometimes when Photoshop is a bit slow to start up or I just can't be bothered with it, I do, do use MS Paint, especially if you just want to resize images. So I guess really the key is, now you know everything about mm. it, um, how much are you going to pay for this? Yeah. And it's not too bad, actually. The basic model, the Linux version, is £199. Yeah, and I believe the XP version is £299. That's right, which makes me think, I'll mm. just go for the Linux version, thank yeah. you very much. Well, I, I do like my Windows. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Bill Gates fan girl here, so I'd probably spend the extra 100 quid to get XP on it. I guess yeah. with the, um, I mean, that actually currently comes in, mm. well, £120-ish cheaper than its main rival, which would have yeah. thought was the ni EPC 900. Yes. So um, the EPC is, um, or the 900 is £329, I think. Yeah. But they are actually bringing the price down, aren't they? That's because, right, that's um, right. Because of the, the launch of the 901 just the other day, um, Asus has announced that they're going to bring all the prices down on their old versions. So I imagine mm. it'll be pretty much in line with this, so I think we're probably talking a scrap. We're talking direct yeah. competition, yeah. fighting out in the ring. Absolutely. Um, but style wise, I really like this. Yeah, I think it's going to be a sub notebook off. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'll be like a dance off, but a sub notebook off. It'll be awesome. It will be yeah. good. It'll be, you know, be, there'll be you know, trouble at the, uh, the disco with this one, the yeah. laptop disco. But um, I know, I think the thing is with this, you've got to, you've got to pick your right specs. Mm. And if you get everything the way you want it, then and not yeah. too expensive I think you can get yourself a really good machine. Well, absolutely I will be very interested to know just how many specs you can cram in there yeah. I mean you might actually find with you know the basic XP one starts at 299 but then you can chuck in RAM and extra just bits and bobs um, I mean how, how high can you go can you actually spend 600 pounds on one of these things yeah and and then it'll probably be so heavy as well all sorts yeah. of bits inside it what have you got i've got to say though this for me two thumbs up i've already taken photos of me licking it you can see them on my <laughs> facebook profile later <laughs> yeah they're, good. They're, they're worth a look they're worth a look but i think um, i think in general we we, we like i think we? this is gadget of the year for me yeah. I'm, I'm in love with this and just just look at it it is so glossy oh, I'm just, I'm in love. This is, for me, much better than the APC. Yeah. And, you know, that takes a lot, I think, for me to say that. So there you go. Oh, I'm never giving it back. <laughs>